Hello, hello everyone. I'm Ali Melendez and this is Bet Online All Access where the NBA playoffs are upon us. We have some super interesting matchups coming our way in this, the first full weekend of playoff action. And of course, our Drew Butler and Nick Ba will be along with us in just a minute to break it all down for us. First, though, you know the deal. Let's take a quick look at some other happenings in the Bet Online universe. Congratulations are in order to our national champion, Yukon Huskies. But you know, it is never too early to look ahead to which teams could cut down the nets next year. Now, setting early futures odds has become much more difficult given the transfer rules, but our odds makers here at Bet Online are pretty sharp, if I do say so myself, and of course, they gave it a go. Don Calipari and his Kentucky Wildcats lead the pack, followed closely by Duke, Purdue, you know, usual suspects, and the defending champion, UConn Huskies. Now, we are less than two weeks away from the NFL Draft, and though guys like Anthony Richardson, Bajan Robinson, and Hendon Hooker may not be among the first few picks in this month's NFL Draft, their stocks are rapidly rising. So, where might some of the peripheral top draft players end up when it's all said and done, you ask? Well, our odds makers have projected team odds for six players that we are all keeping a very close eye on. Now, we at Bet Online have tons of props and futures up related to the NFL draft and the season, so be sure to check all of that out. Finally, Mr. Vince McMahon had a pretty good week last week, wouldn't you say? McMahon agreed to sell the WWE for a reported $9.3 billion. Whew, talk about a good week. So, how will all of that play out? Well, if you think you might know, we at BetOnline have odds up on who will be the WWE men's and women's champions by the end of this calendar year. Yeah, my friends, WrestleMania is running wild, brother. Hey, get your basketball, football, and even wrestling at Bet Online. Bet Online, where the game starts. Well, as promised, the first round of the NBA playoffs gets underway this weekend. And here now to break down the action is Drew Butler and Nick Ba. Welcome, fellas. That's right. It is time for the postseason in the association. Nobody better to do it with than my man, Nick. So, Nick, let's start in the Eastern Conference. We have some series that are already set to tip off this weekend. And it's the Brooklyn Nets, the sixth seed, heading to Philly to take on the 76ers, the three seed. This game, first game, is at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. And right now, the Sixers are eight point favorites. The total is 215. And I like Philly to cover the eight, and I like Philly to roll in this series. The playoffs are about stars. The Sixers got them. Got the odds on favorite to be the MVP in Joel Embiid, a former MVP in James Harden. And the Brooklyn Nets, it's a roster full of role players, yeah. Drew. And keep in mind with the Nets, ever since that trade, letting KD and Kyrie walk, the Nets are only 14 and 17 since that point. I think there's a little bit of a misconception. I think everybody thought that the Nets were just going to completely nosedive, that maybe people think the Nets are a little bit better than they actually are. I think they're going to get unveiled pretty good here in this series. I like Philly to roll in game one and roll in this series. Yeah, I don't see how you could really make the argument otherwise. I mean, how can Brooklyn guard or limit Joe LMB? Like you mentioned, the odds on favor to win the MVP. He's averaging 33 points per game, more than 10 rebounds per game. And defensively, the Nets are just middle of the road. I think James Harden and Joel Embiid should eat not only in game one, but all series long. Spencer Dinwiddie, Mikhail Bridges, they would need to be extraordinary to win four games versus 76ers. So I love Philly in this series. I'm going to lay the eight in game one as well. I don't see any path for Brooklyn to take four games without home court advantage or otherwise. So I'll lay the eight with the 76ers in game one. I like Philly in five, right? Maybe the Nets squeak one away, but the Sixers should roll through the first round of the playoffs. Let's head to another series in the Eastern Conference with the New York Knicks, the five seed, taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers who hold the four spot. Game one is at 6 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. And right now, the Cavs are six-point home favorites. The total here is 214 and a half. Can't wait for this series. This is going to be a, a really, really good one. And the status of, of Julius Randle is one in which to keep an eye on. He, he's probably going to play, but he's been nursing that bum ankle. You'll see how effective he can be. You need his big live body to deal with the front line for Cleveland with Mobley and Jared Allen. I like 
the Knicks to cover the six points in game one. You got Jalen Brunson, who helped lead the Dallas Mavericks to the Western Conference Finals a year ago. I think Brunson's going to go on the road and play well. I think the Cavs win, and the Cavs win the series. I think this thing's likely going seven games. Wow. I'll take the Knicks plus six in game one, but I think the Cavs win the series. Yeah, you mentioned that ankle injury that Julius Randle for the New York Knicks is dealing with. It seems like he's going to play, right? It's now yeah. or never, and Randle is averaging 25 points per game, 10 boards per game, so he would certainly need to be in the mix for the Knicks to have any chance of not only winning game one, but moving past round one. But on the other side, Donovan Mitchell for the Cleveland Cavaliers, I mean, he has been elite, scoring at least 40 points in each of his last four games. But let me give you a name as to who might be the X factor. Middle of the season, this guy was really picking up steam. It's Emmanuel quickly for the New York Knicks. I mean, a sixth man that could come off the bench and completely change the tune of any game. I love the Knicks plus six in the first game and get this, Nick. I like the Knicks in six in this series. Give me New York. It's time for the Knicks to make a little bit of a postseason run. A lot hangs on that Julius Randle injury, but I think he plays. Watch out for Emmanuel quickly. So I'll take the Knicks plus the six in game one, and I like the Knicks in the series. Like you said, Nick, that is going to be a great series. Let's head to the Western Conference. Here is a fascinating matchup in a first round series. The Golden State Warriors, who are the sixth seed, who are the defending NBA champions, are taking on the Sacramento Kings. That's right. The Kings, who are the three seed. Game one's at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. And Nick, this is Sacramento's first playoff appearance in 17 years. The Kings are one point favorites in game one. The total, 237 and a half. And because of that long playoff drought, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of nerves and the oh, yeah. Kings are a little tight in game one. And when you think about the experience factor, obviously Golden State has that in abundance. I mean, they're the reigning champs. They have really been the king of the league for almost a decade now. And so I'm going to take the Warriors plus one in game one. And I also think the Warriors are going to win the series. This thing might go six games. I just don't think Sacramento plays good enough defense, Drew. They're 25th in the league in scoring defense, and they're 26th in the league in three-point defense, which mm -hmm. obviously doesn't bode well when you're trying to slow down the Splash Brothers and Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson's had a great year, by yeah. the way. So I just think the experience and winning pedigree is going to shine through for Golden State. Warriors cover the one in game one, and I think the Warriors win the series. Yeah, what an atmosphere this is going to be. Again, the Kings are at home. First time they're in the playoffs in 17 years. And get this, the Kings were the biggest preseason long shot to win their division in any of the four major sports since 2010, right? So that atmosphere is going to be electric. And De'Aaron Fox will have to be special. You're already starting to hear Golden State say, nobody can beat us when we're healthy. Seems like they're starting to get healthy. Their big three has the experience in the playoffs and the finals in abundance. You've got Draymond, you've got Steph, you've got Clay. Can the Warriors turn it on in the playoffs? That's the biggest question. Golden State, though, was a horrible 11 and 30 on the road this season. I love the Kings in game one. Yeah, lay that one point. Kings get game one, but then the Warriors turn it on. I like the Warriors to win this series. That's gonna be a fun one to watch Saturday night. Staying in the Western Conference, let's head to the series between the Los Angeles Clippers, the five seed. They're taking on the Phoenix Suns, who are the four seed. This game will be on Sunday for game one. The Suns are seven point favorites, Nick. The total is 227. Seven's a big number, and I, I'm going to take the seven points and, and have the Clippers cover that in game one. But without Paul George, he's going to be out at least at the beginning of this series. I just don't think they're going to have enough firepower to be able to take down Phoenix. Keep in mind, when Kevin Durant has played for Phoenix, they're 8-0. Oh. and oh. Devin Booker, yeah. Chris Paul, Kevin Durant. I mean, are you kidding me? This team, to me, in my eyes, is the favorite to win the NBA title. I'm going to take Phoenix to win the series, but I think the Clippers can cover that seven points in game one. Yeah, you know what? I'm really high on the Phoenix Suns as well, and it seems like the public, not so much, which is pretty interesting. Think about Kevin Durant, two-time finals MVP, fourth all-time, Nick, in playoff scoring average, 29.4 
points per game. It could be the perfect timing for this Kevin Durant acquisition to start taking place for the Phoenix Suns. DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker, Chris Paul. This is the perfect recipe for the Suns to get across the finish line and possibly hoist the Larry O'Brien trophy. Kawhi, though, for the Clippers. Yeah, he's been picking up the pace. Will Paul George be healthy? That's a big question mark. Russell Westbrook has also been playing pretty well. Can he turn it on come playoff time? There is tons of star power in this series. I think this will be the most entertaining series to watch. In game one, though, I'll lay the seven points with the Suns. I love the Suns to win this series. That right there is my team to watch out for to win it all. It's playoff time in the association, Nick. There's no better place to be than right here at Bet Online. Check out Bet Online for all your latest lines, news, and odds. For Nick Baugh, I'm Drew Butler. Allie, we'll throw it back to you. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, guys. And thank you all for watching. Yeah, it should be a really fun weekend in the association. Well, friends, as always, if you're watching on our YouTube channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hey, drop us a line. Why not? We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, enjoy all the action this weekend. Bet online, where the game starts.